chapter 3, lesson 3, is subtracting mixed numbers. So, the process for subtracting is the same as the process for addition. So, um, any calculator work, I will not show anymore as I've shown how to use the calculator in the last uh, lesson. So, I will only be showing computational uh, problems in the discussion for this lesson. So, remember, the book will first subtract the whole numbers. If you're comfortable with that, then we follow because, again, it's a good strategy. But if you're not comfortable, then show the other way. It's also okay. Okay, so which means here, uh, I will be doing from pages 64 to 66. Okay, starting with 1b, it says that we're supposed to subtract and express answers in simplest form. So here, what the book will do is it'll subtract 7 minus 4 is 3. And it'll keep the 2 thirds and then minus the 1 half. Okay, so which means this right here, we want it to be in same denominator, so that's 3 and 4 over 6 minus 3 over 6, which means we should get 3 and 1 sixth. So again, whole number first, the fraction stays with the first, the whole number, and then the following fraction does not have a whole number anymore. So if we look at 2a, it says find the difference between 3 and 1 fifth and 2 and 1 half. So same, this becomes 3 and 1 fifth minus 2 and 1 half. So we'll take the difference between that is 1 and 1 fifth minus 1 half. So which means this will be over 10 times 2 and times 5. Okay, the problem now is we cannot take away 5 from 2. But this, if you change into an improper fraction, becomes 12 over 10. Now, if that were a bigger number than 1, then we take 1 away from it and we add to the 2 tenth. So in the next problem, that's what it will be. So here, this will be 12 tenth minus 5 tenth is 7 Tenth. And finally, it says find the difference between 5 and 2 and 7 tenth. So here, what will happen is we subtract. This will be, so if we take 5 minus 2, that's 3, and then minus 7 tenth. But we need to take 1 whole and separate that, that's 2 and 10 over 10 minus 7 over 10. So we need to borrow one whole, which is written as 10 over 10. And the answer will be 2 and 3 over 10. So again, if you're not comfortable with the way that they're doing, there's other ways of doing this. There's no right and wrong here. But I've selected to discuss using the book because their strategy is actually very good strategy. If you use your calculator, you should also get the same final answer and it'll be in reduced form. All of the problems I selected, they're all in reduced form. So there's no need to divide any of the fractions to become its simplest form. That concludes Lesson 3 of Chapter 3, which also concludes the chapter and the module. See you in the next module.